brush, tassel, happy finishing. And this will be my honest review. So sit back and listen. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my quick review of the Bosch Tassimo Happy Coffee Maker. Um, if you haven't watched the video of me unboxing this machine, please um, go to this link which will be up here and watch the unboxing video. I found this revolving coffee pot holder in the store the other day and I said I was going to bring that also so that you guys can see it going to the video of the day. We are going to be reviewing the Bosch Tassimo Happy Coffee Machine and this will be my honest review. So sit back and listen. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Amaka Iguatu and this is my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do not forget to click on the subscription button as well as the notification bell so you do not miss any of my videos. Now, my channel is for anything entertaining, everything interesting. Um, if there are any particular things that you would like me to feature on my channel, please do not hesitate to put that down in the comment section. Okay, down to the business of the day. So this machine is lightweight, so it's so light, you can actually lift this up <gasps> with one hand. It's small, the measurement is 30.5 by 36 by 23 in centimeters. Now, I do not know what that means. For me, it means it's small enough to fit in any type of keychain, a small, a large, an extra large, an XXX large keychain. This will just fit perfectly and it's gonna just tuck itself away in the corner, okay? It also has this um, transparent water tank um, and the capacity of this water tank is 0.75 liters or 0.75 liters. Um, so that means it's under one liter. You can imagine, guys, if this machine, if this water tank was blacked out, I think that might just give the machine a more rugged appearance. So that's my thoughts. It's got a cup tray here, which you can actually adjust to three different levels, yeah? So this mug is too high. It's not gonna fit in here. So what all you need to do would just be to take this out and then you can fit that easily, yeah? Or you, if you are using like a very small um, cup or a small mug, you can slot that in into the different levels. So you've got, this is level one, level two, yeah? And the level three will be here. So you can fit whatever sizes you want okay so for the purpose of this video i'm going to just leave it at level one keep this away and i'll pop this here just to get myself all ready for my coffee <laughs> in terms of how long it will take you to brew yourself a cup of amazing coffee it will take you around one minute 22 seconds now i know i'm very sad oh dear I have actually recorded and timed myself when I brew this from when I turn the switch on to when my coffee is ready and it took me a minute and 22 seconds. Now if you've got this machine at home, please try and time yourself and let me know if I have exaggerated or you know understated my time. Alright, I'll be looking forward to reading all that in the comment section. When you're brewing, you can actually increase the volume of your drink so normally the machine at the pods have got their barcode and it the machine automatically reads the barcode and tells the machine when to stop brewing but if you're like me and you want to make sure you get all the coffee out of the pod all you need to do is just press down on the button and override the the um time press and hold and override as the pressing and holding and overriding they're gonna get more coffee yum 
Now the reasons for you to buy this coffee machine are it's pocket friendly. You don't need to break the band to actually get one of this. It's compact, easy to use, and um, you can actually um, get your coffee start to finish in under two minutes. And this will save you having to beat those queues that we've got now in the other coffee shops. So you can brew yourself one, put in your coffee mug, and you know, you that's your coffee on the go. Another positive, eco-friendly um, thing about the, the, the machine is the pods, you can't actually recycle them. There are recycling centers that accept the pods. I'll be putting that, I'll be putting the link down in my description of where you can go to all you need to do will be to put in your location and it will bring up the nearest recycling center for you so you can just take that in drop it in and they will then recycle it because that is you know you doing your bit for the environment isn't it wide choice of beverages there are a whole variety of beverages you can make using this reasons to avoid buying this machine in as much as i love it you know, I've had this and I've enjoyed using it uh, regularly. There are things that really, in my head, I'm like, did they actually think before making this? Number one thing that will come to you once you get this machine out of the box is short cable. I can't even get this around my waist. I honestly can't. Cannot even get it around my waist at all. So this is so short you will need to get an extension lid if you're going to plug this anywhere. Okay, it's not long enough. So tassel, you need to make this longer because sometimes we might need to, you know, tassel, are you listening? Or oh, Bosch, are you listening Bosch? This needs to be a bit longer, but this is so short, yeah? So what I need to do now is I need to plug this in my extension box so I can show you guys how this is brewed. Second reason to avoid getting this coffee machine is the noise. Now I'm gonna be brewing myself a drink and I'm not gonna edit the noise. I need you all to hear it. Now, do you get what I mean? The next reason not to buy this coffee machine is the fact that it's a single pod system. Having to switch and swap um, slows the process down, just adds you know a couple of seconds to the brewing time. And another reason would be, it's so fussy, yeah? You can only use a Tassimo pod. You can't mix it, so it has to be a, an approved Tassimo pod. So it's a fussy little coffee machine. This was about seven pounds and I got it from the discount store called B&M in England. So I will be opening this up just to show you guys what it looks like. Make no mistake, it didn't come loaded with the coffee pods. I load this coffee pods myself. This is quite good, I mean, for the price, have a look. This is quite nice. And all you need to do, if you want to take anything out of it, is just from the bottom, take it out. Um, it's quite good and it's, it's quite neat. So if you can imagine putting them two together, on your kitchen worktop or look, people would admire it. 
I can't put the link where I got this from, but as I said, if you live in the UK, you can get it from the discount store B&M and it was £6.99. In my opinion, this coffee machine would not just brew your coffee, remember? You will be spoiled for choice. There are so many other beverages that you can brew using this coffee machine and it can actually brew you a coffee shop style coffee. So this is it. Amaka Iguatu's honest review of the Bosch Tassimo Happy Coffee Machine as well as my unboxing of my revolving coffee pods which looks amazing by the way. So I hope this quick video of mine reviewing my coffee machine makes some sense. Even if it doesn't make any sense, just click on the like button and like it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscription button as well as the notification bell so you do not miss any of my videos. Until my next upload, 